your next team all the way from Baltimore, Maryland, Aftermath! <laughs> Baltimore. Woo! It's our first time in Bethlehem. Yeah! It's a rusty ass city. <laughs> but we're having a blast because we all got tetanus shots before we came. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but I do have a question. Um, this is the input section of the improv. Um, we need a song lyric. First song lyric that pops into your head, just popcorn it out. Don't stop believing. Don't stop believing in what you say out there. <laughs> okay. And I need one more. Follow that girl is poison. Then you got back. That girl is poison. Okay. So we have don't stop believing, never gonna give you up, holler back, and that girl is poison. We're good? I think we can handle it. What do you see? Billy, what do you see? Oh. On the horizon. She's over there. I look at her. She's, she's poisonous. <laughs> Just, well, what do we do when she comes? We'll have to kill her, of course. <laughs> we can't get poisoned. Not by proxy, anyway. No. Well, I've got the antidote. We just pour it I all thought over. we were killing her. Well, couldn't we kill her kindly? Just pour the antidote on her, watch her dissolve into the abyss? I'd rather it be quick. I don't know. After everything that she's done, she's burned down our city. She's killed her cows. <laughs> she called me a mean. <laughs> well, I guess if you want to kill her nice and slow, I'm, I'm all right with that. All right, thank you. But I'm not going to scoop up her ashes. I'm not going to... I'm not going to mop up her splutter. Well... I'm not going to vacuum her clippings. Billy, I, I understand. I, I think we'll just let it happen. We will watch her dissolve back into nature. Back where she is. <coughs> All right. So do we just sit and wait now? Well, we haven't killed her yet. Yeah. But she's coming. We just have to watch her. She's walking very slowly. Well, why can't we just meet her? I don't want to walk that far. I've got a car. Why don't we just wait, since she's going to get here anyway? You know I hate waiting for things. I know you hate waiting for things. Especially waiting for the killing. Okay. Fine, we'll wait. I'm just uh, a little worried that, um, that you're starting to stop believing. <laughs> um... Well, um, I know that believing was mm -hmm. one of my mm -hmm. uh, core pieces on my resume. Exactly. Um, and I, I, as you know, that I have excelled at um, thinking. Very true. Yes, and um, I have I've taken many classes on imagination. Sure, you well, you do excel in that as well. Yes, um, but as as of right now, uh, the new fiscal uh, session doesn't mm. require as much believing as, mm, it, as it did before. Mm. See, that's where I'm concerned that you would say something like that. Yes, as you can see, I have charts ready for you right here. <laughs> you can see that um, on this pie chart, believing has uh, has gone down from uh, eighty nine percent. To 43 percent. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm yes. only a 43 percent <laughs> believer. Right, right. That's that's a problem. You see, <laughs> because you work for Santa Claus, <laughs> <laughs> and quite frankly, I, I can't have elves around here not believing. Well, sir. Um, Look, you know as well as I can know, the guy's a dick. Okay. Yes, I'm not gonna make it's a well-established fact that Santa Claus is a jerk. His public perception, obviously just a PR creation. The PR is an amazing department. I mean, they is. really are it really, really good at what it they really do. It really is. Uh, so, we got the new media campaign for Santa Claus. I don't think we're going to mention the diabetes and impotence. Oh, no. <laughs> Why would we even bring that up? That's not something that the public even associates with him. Oh, it's not? Well, I don't think so. <laughs> Oh, okay. Is, is this something that you've brought up to people? Well, yeah. 
You've told people that Santa Claus is diabetic and impotent? <laughs> well, not impotent, but just diabetic. Oh my god. But mommy, why do we have to leave carrots and celery for Santa Claus? And what are these little blue pills? <laughs> I told everyone. Oh. Uh, Jerry, it's just because Santa is trying to lose some weight. He's trying to be healthy. Is Santa Claus going to die Santa from Claus, obesity? Santa Claus is going to live forever, Jerry. Don't you ever... Liar! <laughs> Don't you ever stop believing that, Jerry. Go Jerry, to bed. be nice to your mother. Go to bed or he's not going to bring you any presents. Fine, but I still want to know what those pills are. <laughs> Jolliness. Those are not. <laughs> I can't believe you told our son. How many other kids know? How many other kids has he told? <coughs> kids need to be educated about impotence. <laughs> <laughs> He's eight years old. And this is the perfect age to learn. <laughs> I... My science project is about EDC and... Um, EDF. Um, first of all, it's not a cure-all for everything. I looked into that. And there is no, unfortunately, symmetry for the women's uh, vascular system that produces the same result. I'm hoping to um, get into the eighth grade honors society with my Viagra sponsorship. <laughs> I'm sorry, we've already given out all the scholarships and sponsorships. Why don't you apply next year? I know you put in a lot of hard work, and I'm, I'm very sorry. You know, leave the chair. <laughs> I had a plan. I know. And I'm no, 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 no. I had a plan. And you can't get into Mr. Schrapp's ninth grade AP physics unless you've got some sort of scholarship to show it. And, and then, of course, you can't go to the tenth grade foreign legion class of doom. And then, well, then Yale, as a junior exchange student, is out the window. That is a Pfizer chair. That is a Pfizer paid for chair. I've got an interview with Cialis later. Uh, so we have an issue. Mm -hmm. Ever since you stopped believing? Yes. And apparently have talked to some of the other elves about Absolutely. no longer believing? Santa doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> <laughs> We're all out of the job. Now, now, hang on. I think we're just looking, we just need to restructure a little bit. Okay, so Santa, as we know it, doesn't exist. Right. But did he ever exist if he didn't exist now? I looked on the internet, the Wikipedia page is down. <laughs> okay, uh, Mr. Green, I, I need you to understand that Wikipedia is not a solidified source of information. Right. Even on the North Pole, sure. it's not good enough. But listen, what what can we do if we need to have children believe in him again? What can we do in the next fiscal year to help children <laughs> believe more in uh, Santa? So I got a campaign. All right. Santa killed Hitler. People <laughs> <laughs> will fall in love with him all over again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? It's just so bonkers, it might work. Everyone's Mom, really Mom, here. I got the new Santa versus Hitler Rock and Sock and Robots. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Where's Mom? <laughs> Mom? She disappeared. <laughs> Mom. What? We understand you've uh, stopped believing in Santa. I stop believing in Santa, but I believe in Santa because he defeats Hitler in the game. That's but, not, that's not Santa. That is not Santa. All we need you to do is say that you believe in Santa again and we'll bring your mother back. Okay, I believe in Santa. Mm. <laughs> I don't think you meant that. You gotta say it with more spirit, kid. Mm -hmm. Cindy, what's your name? Cindy? You gotta say it like you believe it. I believe. I believe in Santa. Go! Uh, I don't know. Is that you're you're going to have to amp it up a little bit. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> I believe in Santa. That's better. 
Well, her dancing That's skills better. are really nice, but maybe would just... a step routine to be better? Yeah. I believe. I believe in Santa. Ah, believe. I believe in Santa. You know, I believe in Santa. Anyway, we were just kidding. We got your parents tied up in the closet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. I'm going to poison you. Oh, no. You'll never oh, see it coming. Geez. Oh, look, I told you. We could have driven to her by now. Melinda! You know, you're right. We should have driven. Just watching her wander up here is kind of sad. <laughs> oh, well, what's she doing? I'm full she's of purpose just, and she's, venom. She's skylarking. <laughs> she's taking her sweet time. She's fucking skylarking. She's mocking us. We should have killed her when we had the chance. Come on, Melinda. You know what we're here to do. <laughs> she always was such a good dancer. Oh! <laughs> she just poisoned a citizen! She just poisoned a citizen peasant! <laughs> just give it to her! Give it to her! <laughs> give it to her. <laughs> oh, God! Jerome. <laughs> <laughs> the slow walk has given me a lot to think about. I should have taken a car. <laughs> she had the antidote, as I remember. And she talked quite a bit about killing me. Still Slowly. Still I'm not touching you yet. Stop seducing me. I'm weirdly aroused. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm scared. I'm not touching you. I'm scared and erect. Stop. 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 I'm not touching you. I know you're not. I know you're not touching me. In my peripheral. Stop. Stop. Don't. Don't. Don't do that. Stop. <laughs> the nape of my neck is off limits. Stop it. Stop. 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 You just killed another citizen. Hey, citizen! How long does it take for it to kick? Oh. <laughs> I am I more aroused right now? <laughs> So I'm here for the Santa gig. Okay. Um, well. First of all, I don't work with kids. <laughs> Better not last year if we have. And ain't the holidays off. Uh, <laughs> all right, so you're the only one here. So that's a tally in we, your favor. We do appreciate you making the trek across the okay. uh, Arctic. Okay. Yes. I saw on your resume that you, um, have taken classes in imagination and believing. I have. Congratulations. And you okay. did spend a little time in jail. Can you explain that? I gotta get a new Santa for this campaign. He lied about his resume. He said he had taken classes in imagination. But he didn't? There's no such thing. What college <laughs> offers that? I don't know. Maybe there's some one that's based in Disneyland or something. <sighs> and I already spent time in jail. But he never knew for what. That's real sketchy. Who has the real Santa been all along? Who is the team that's been getting children and families in America and the rest of the world to believe in Santa Claus? <clears throat> it's you and me. Yeah. 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 Get on my shoulders. Because <laughs> we're going to put on the Santa suit, but she'll be the top Santa and I'll be the bottom Santa. So, you'll be the legs and I'll be the brains. Yeah. We, we'll both be the brains, but I'll maybe be brainier. Well, I just want to, yeah, it's fine. Okay. But you want me to get on your shoulders? <laughs> I'll get on your shoulders. All right, like now? Yeah, let's do it now. Let's just practice. We'll just right. walk up to the North Pole. We'll say that we're the real Santa. <coughs> There's no way that we can refuse. All right, all right. Okay. 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 <laughs> I think I'm just gonna piggyback right now. I got a little scared. All right. <laughs> All, right. All right. All right. Let's go to the north. Santa, coast. is that you I hear downstairs? <laughs> oh. Ho ho ho! Yes, it is. You look different. <laughs> Santa's just touched some radium in the North Pole. It's had some side effects, but it's the same man, same big guy. Tell him to go upstairs. Go upstairs! <laughs> <laughs>
but but I got these cookies and Viagra's for you. <laughs> Shit, now you're gonna have to eat it. Viagra. You'll blow your cover if you don't eat the Viagra. Viagra. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, give me a cookie, kid. Give me a pill. You gotta drink the milk to go with it. Is there any milk for Santa? Um, yeah, I can get some from my refrigerator, I think. What's this do to women? I don't know what Viagra does to women. <laughs> Will it just pass out of my system? I think it might make all your stuff bigger. <laughs> all your stuff. All your stuff. <laughs> like everything down there, like the transmissions. <laughs> So many tattoos. Isn't that a dirty word? Santa, Santa spent some time uh, in uh, in. Uh, um, uh, 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 tell, tell, tell him you were in Iowa. I was in Iowa and I got tattoos there. That's where they get the tattoos. Okay. Um, you're bleeding, by the way, just a little bit. Why is my back wet? <laughs> Why is my back wet? What is happening to you? What? Oh my god. Is your undercarriage falling out? <laughs> Get off of me. Oh. oh my god, Santa broke in two. <laughs> blood everywhere. I know, it's in my underwear. <laughs> what happened to you? No. You don't know, it's your stuff. I thought this was a good idea. Oh, 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 oh. Now you learn that no one can be the real Santa. <laughs> What's going on here? Shut up. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Making pictures with light? That's wonderful, Tommy. Yeah. Yeah. You're living in the past. <laughs> you hipster. <laughs> I'm learning less. You want a singer sewing machine too? How about an easy bake oven? Hmm? Hmm? This is the weirdest Christmas ever. <laughs> Schedule yours first. I want the patient with the last name A. It's fine. You can go first. I'll just do my gallbladder removal. I want to do the gallbladder. You can't do a... <laughs> They're both named A, so I get both of them. Galls are named A? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just like it's false. The, th the length she'll go for just to be petty. Petty at work. You bring a... Bring a home argument to work. <laughs> really? Yeah. You're gonna bring your surgical scheduling argument to home? I am. On our anniversary. Yes. I need to know why incision. You know, I am not. I'm not your real husband. I'm your work husband. <laughs> you can't project what's going on between you and Harold. Dr. Williamson. Don't tell me what to do, Dr. Williamson. You can't assault me at work either. <laughs> you can't beat me at work. I'm not your real husband. Why did you call out Dr. Williamson? Because I need to know why. Incision, I know. I don't know what that means. Really? You're going to bring your home and work life problems to your home? Counseling session. <laughs> Here we go. It's important to me that I'm in charge, no matter where I am. Here, home, work, uh, okay. and Safeway. Yeah, and it's probably has something to do with your, your parents or something like that. Let's talk about the new Fast and the Furious. I want to talk about the new Fast and the Furious film. Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care about Fast and the Furious Part 9. I'm trying to remove someone's spleen. Stop fucking around. <laughs> it's important to know. Okay. 
Thank you for agreeing with me. No, I don't think Vin Diesel is more sexy. I think he is! <laughs> you need to agree with me. <laughs> 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 